In today's episode, we'll unpack the story of a prominent anesthesiologist who found himself entangled in a complex romantic and professional scandal. Meet the doctor, who we'll call Respondent, starting his career in 2006 with Nashua Anesthesiology Partners, providing crucial services to Southern New Hampshire Medical Center. Fast forward to 2007, when our respondent befriends a certain nurse, Nurse A, at the workplace, and things begin to take an interesting turn. Nurse A, scheduled for a C-section, requests respondent to administer the anesthesia. Post the procedure, the professional equation transforms into a romantic one, leading to an intimate relationship by 2008. This liaison blooms further, with daily texts exchanged via a phone provided by respondent's employer. However, this love story doesn't sit well with their co-workers, leading to an uncomfortable work environment. Our respondent, on a specific instance, even texts Nurse from the operating room. But as the saying goes, all good things come to an end. With the relationship hitting the rocks, an emotionally wrecked nurse spills the beans to her supervisor. Denial is the first stage of grief, and respondent sticks to it, vehemently denying any relationship when confronted by his peers. The rumors soon reach the ears of the state of New Hampshire Board of Medicine, leading to an anonymous complaint and a subsequent investigation. Even when questioned by the director of the New Hampshire Professional Health Program, Sally Garhart, MD, the respondent stays true to his denial. However, inconsistencies start popping up during his assessment at the Acumen Institute. The Acumen report reveals respondent admitting to an ongoing affair with Nurse A, but the timeline doesn't match, hinting at possible deception. The board investigation also points towards conflicting accounts of their first intimate encounter, further muddying the waters. In the end, the romantic saga concludes on a somber note. The respondent is reprimanded by the state of New Hampshire Board of Medicine in October 2010. His professional blunder comes at a high price, with an administrative fine of $10,000. Stay tuned as we unravel more stories of doctors in the courtroom. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more gripping stories from the medical world. This was anesthesiology, love, and a pricey misstep. Stay tuned for more.